Hello everyone! Today I'm excited to share the nighttime skincare routine you've all been asking for. Here in Korea, the weather has been really hot and humid lately, which is tough for my combination skin. It's dry inside but only on the outside. So I've been extra careful with my skincare to adapt to these changes. Let's get started now. I usually wear minimal makeup. If I don't have any special plans, I'll just put on sunscreen and lip color before heading out. But I always make sure to do double cleanse every night, even on days when I only wear sunscreen. On days when I only apply a light layer of sunscreen, I could technically do a first cleanse with just cleansing water, but these days, when managing sebum is crucial, I prefer using a cleansing oil. It's especially good for dealing with blackheads and whiteheads around my nose. I use a cleansing oil to wipe over sunscreen from my neck and body. I'm using Make Prime Cleansing Oil, which includes Dojoba Seed Oil, among other natural oils. It does a great job of gently dissolving sebum and leaving my skin clean. Then I follow with a cleansing foam for my second cleanse. Normally, I prefer mildly acid cleansers, but with the increase in oiliness during the summer, I've been using an alkaline cleanser for more often. It helps remove excess dead skin cells and clean out sebum and impurities effectively. Tonight, I'm using Isen Tree Onion Cleanser. It lathers into a soft foam and although it's an alkaline cleanser, it doesn't dry out my skin too much, which I really appreciate it. Moving on to the main part of tonight's routine, I focus on rehydrating dry areas and controlling the oil where it's excessive. For the oily parts, like my nose, I use Ilso Softener on a cotton fat, just let it sit there and work its magic. For my cheeks and forehead, I generously apply aloe gel and cover them with a damp cotton fat to keep the moisture from evaporating too quickly. And then just wait about 5 to 10 minutes. You can see the sebum on the nose has softened up nicely. I gently roll a cotton soap over these areas to remove the loosened sebum, being careful not to irritate the pores. For the cheeks and forehead, the skin temperature drops and the hydration feels more balanced. This is a great way to address under eye textured skin and tiny bumps on the forehead caused by an imbalance of oil and water. Next, I rinse up with just local water. Even this simple step makes my face feel super refreshed, hydrated, and clean. It feels so good. I follow with a toner. I love a clean, refreshing toner, especially in the hot summer. Aviva toner is perfect because it calms and refines the skin beautifully after cleansing. Next, I apply Niacinamide Serum. I adore niacinamide and use it in both my morning and evening routines. Today, I'm using The Ordinary Serum, which also contains zinc to help manage oiliness and pores. Following that, it's Latiner time. Innisfree Latiner Cream is mildly formulated with soothing Sika, making it great for daily use. I've run out of my Innisfree Serum and have been substituting it with this cream which is also lightweight enough for summer. Then I apply eye cream. Beauty of Joseon's eye cream includes a bit of Latina too, perfect for targeting fine lines around the eyes, forehead, left lines, and neck. I pay extra attention to my flow lines because they bother me. Next, I apply Etid House's Eyelash Serum. Finally, I finish with the Bioderma Lip Balm. I wrap up my skincare routine like this, but before bed, I add a light layer of La Roche-Posay Barrier Cream to seal everything in before I go to sleep. That does a look at my current nighttime skincare routine. Depending on the weather and my skin's condition, I adjust things, but maintaining a balance of oil and moisture is always key for my combination skin. If you're curious about also my morning routine or special care days, leave a comment and I will get light on it. And also, I'll link all products used today in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!